about to rock your world, bitches. Good job, Taiwan. <laughs> Let's go, Cardinal. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Hey, what's up? 64 BC man here. Usually you never see my intro with these kinds of videos, but what the hell. I decided to mix it up a little bit. Anyways, I'm here to uh, comment on one of the weirdest articles I've ever read before. It's from BuzzFeed. It's 23 questions women have for men. Alright, let's get to it. First question women have for men. What do you talk about at sleepovers? Me personally, it's been a long time since I've been to a sleepover, so I wouldn't know either way. Second question. Why does it take you so long to poop? Uh, because our bowels... They're usually tightened up, so unless they're loose, then that's why we take so long. Do you shiver when you pee in the morning? Is that a thing? I hate to break it to you, but no, I don't. The only time anybody has ever seen me shiver is when I'm cold or when I'm getting out of the shower. What's the deal with drawing dicks all over everything? Okay, you're asking me these kinds of questions. I've never once drawn a dick before. If you want, I'll put some art I made in the, uh, the video and I can guarantee you that not a one of them has a dick in it. Are all your exes really crazy? No. Not all of them are crazy. Why do you put your dicks inside random objects? It's just like that uh, line of feminism that says Men will put their dicks into anything with a hole in it. Here's the thing. Most men like to save their dicks for when they're having sex with a woman. Okay? The people who are putting dicks inside of random things like trees and uh, gravel and dirt and all that they make up a small minority of men. Does it actually feel good? Does what feel good? 
anybody care to give me an example on this? Have you ever been catcalled? No, I haven't. And for good reason. And no, feminists, it's not because I'm privileged to not be catcalled. I get catcalled all the time. Well, you're taking it from my experience? No, I've never been catcalled. Do circle jerks really happen? Like, just hanging out, platonically masturbating with your bros. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about here. Are all you straight guys really not even a little bi? Yeah, we're not bi. You talk to any straight guy, they're going to tell you they're not bi because it's not in their genetics. Usually the bi ones consist of bi's and gays. Okay. Are all of you obsessed with the History Channel on the weekend? No, I'm not. I'm upset. I'm obsessed with video games. Have you ever tasted your own semen? Like, just a little, just to see. No, I haven't. Do you actually think people care if you buy tampons? Uh, I've not yet bought a tampon, so. I can't answer that one way or another. Do you ever say I love you to your best friend? Um, not as far as I know. How often do you get accidental boners? Weekly? Monthly? Uh, I can't remember when I last got an accidental boner, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that most teenage boys would get these kind of boners like twice a week. Why are you so interested in how big your friend's dicks are? I'm not, because then I would be gay. And what's up with the whole slapping one another's butts thing? Look, it's just a friendly gesture men have. I have millions of gestures out there. That's some good hot chocolate there. Next question. What is your opposition to nightstands or hanging things on walls for that minute? I really don't care. If you want, I can show you. Here's my nightstand with a lot of stuff on it. And if you notice my bowling trophy, yes, I did join a bowling league once. And in my wall, yeah, poster, calendar, another calendar, right over here. We got the whole NFL team thing up right there. All these guys. So if you're just new to this channel or you can't already tell I'm a huge Bucks fan. If you see all the Bucks things that I have hanging on the walls. Are blue balls a real thing? Um, I assume that they're talking about the balls that men have. So, I've never once had blue balls, so I wouldn't tell you. Does your dick ever get in the way when you're walking around? No, it doesn't. Do your balls ever stick to anything else on your body? No, they don't. Not unless men are crazy enough to super glue them onto uh, 
onto their abilities or something like that. Are broken penises just a myth? No, I don't think so. I've had thoughts about getting my boner removed by snapping the bone that causes the boner in half. But, yeah. And finally, what does having a boner feel like? Well, it really doesn't matter to me. I don't feel anything about it, honestly. So, anyways. You can go read the article for yourself if you want. God, that thing's weird. 